guys, John from Driving Out Performance here. We're going to do a quick little video discussing uh, some of the coilover options for the new 6th gen Bronco. Now, the most common options or the nicest options on the market at the moment are the King and the Icons. Now, the Kings have been a little bit slow to roll out, but they are out there. Uh, Icon, uh, they were the last ones to announce their product and the first ones to really get them to market in bulk. So right now we actually have every level of Icon in stock ready to ship. There's a few different ones that I'm going to talk about uh, shortly. And then I'm going to compare them against a King at the same level. So I've got both laid out on the table here. I'm going to talk a little bit about the differences uh, between the two brands. Um, they're kind of like a new truck where everybody has the brands they like, uh, preferences, uh, really, there's no bad option. Um, like if you're going to go buy a new Chevy versus a new Ford versus a new Dodge, I mean, really, they're all pretty good. So what we're going to do first is start with uh, King versus Icon. So on the two ends of the table, we have the Icon uh, 48700C series. Um, these are all fronts on the table. The rears are very similar. Um, but they're all fronts just to show a direct comparison. Now these are adjustable external reservoir coilovers and down on the other end of the table we have Kings that are the same series. Now, this is my absolute favorite setup. Um, there's no electronics to deal with, uh, fully adjustable external reservoirs, easy to mount, uh, easy to install, and personally I like um, Icon's valving the best. Um, they have great support system too. Um, that's absolutely nothing against Fox or King. Uh, it's just my personal preference. I like their valvings. Now, these are, like I said, fronts. So here we have uh, external reservoirs. Uh, the adjusters are nice and easy to adjust right on the end. Uh, I do like the mounting point that they use. It's kind of vertically uh, using the included brackets. Um, kind of tucked behind the control arm, keeps it up out of the way on the front. Um, the rear, it's actually down on the frame rail. Uh, I don't particularly care for that as much. I like how King does it in that case. Um, I'll try and overlay some pictures to uh, give you guys a comparison there. Um, but overall, very nice unit, US made hose, great product, nice springs. Um, there is one thing that has been popping up lately with people and I'll show you the difference here before we hop over to the Kings. Now this distance right here is uh, just under five inches uh, to, to the lower spring seat here. Now this is fine on a stock Bronco but as many of you probably know the tie rods are a weak point on the stock Bronco and a lot of people are putting on Bronc Buster braces, there's some other brands aftermarket tie rods. Uh, this comes real close to them and uh, supposedly there's actually some interference. People are grinding their braces. Um, that's an ongoing development. We'll see what happens there. Uh, Bronk Buster maybe will put a revision out or maybe Icon will put a revision out. We'll see what happens. But either way, don't let it stop you from purchasing any of these. Um, absolutely top of the line product. My favorite go-to, what I would buy. Now, uh, one thing that I want to point out is that they use hose clamps to mount to the reservoir brackets. Um, there's nothing wrong with this, but it's not quite as nice as the King setup, which we will jump to in just a moment. Uh, another noticeable difference, uh, not a big deal, but just something to note during install, is that the icons have threaded upper strut mounts. Um, the bolts go in from above. Uh, all nice hardware, very nice stuff. It just takes away the studs, which gives you a little more clearance to kind of get them into place, which is very nice. So, we're going to hop down to the Kings. Um, obviously, the uh, signature blue finish, uh, top notch, everything as well. You've got finned, uh, heat dissipating uh, reservoirs. Uh, the adjuster knobs are actually a little bit bigger than the icons, a little bit easier to grab. I will note that. Um, Pretty noticeable, uh, and like I said, there's a little bit more clearance here. Um, so if you'll see here, you'll see it's a little bit over six inches. So there's about an inch, a little bit over an inch even, of extra clearance for tie rods and related products. 
Uh, same top quality hardware. Extremely nice pieces. Wouldn't hesitate to throw them on my Bronco at all. Um, they do use a press-in stud, like I was just mentioning with the icons where they use the bolt from above. Uh, their stud is here. Um, with a little bit more to the top. And again, that really does not matter. I mean, that just gives you a little more clearance. No big deal. And like I was saying, one thing I really like about the Kings is these clamps for the reservoirs. Uh, these are really nice billet anodized clamps instead of hose clamps. Uh, and as I was also saying, the positioning of the reservoirs is a little bit different on the Kings. The Kings, it mounts kind of in front of the uh, the shock tower on the frame. Uh, it's a little bit low. I mean, it's not lower than the frame, but it's lower than the icons and it's a little more exposed, especially if you start getting into aftermarket front bumpers. Uh, everybody does things a little bit differently. There's not really a wrong way. It's just kind of what you look at and your opinion on it. Um, again, top-notch product, huge demand. I can't even believe these are sitting here, but they're shipping right out tomorrow. Um, would not hesitate to use them at all. Now in the back, as I said, Icon mounts their reservoir on the frame near where the lower trailing arm front mount is, out of the way and clear, whereas King mounts it on top of the shock. So it's above, kind of behind the wheel. Um, depending on what you're doing for a wheel and tire, might see some issues, might not, um, but it is much more tucked out of the way, uh, which a lot of people like. So as you can see, both brands have pros and cons. Um, there's no bad option. They're both extremely nice. Um, the mounting brackets for King might even might be a little bit nicer. They're a little bit chunkier. But again, it's really just picking it apart at this point. King offers a adjustable and non-adjustable setup. Uh, only external reservoir at the moment. They may come out with a non-external reservoir in the future. We'll see. Um, which leads me into Icon's options. Now, like I said, these ones laid over here are the external reservoir fully adjustable um, setup. Now, for a more basic setup, you have this. As you see, there's no external reservoir. Um, it is basically just a real nice 2.5 shock setup, um, adjustable height, uh, the same quality as you have over here, just with no external reservoirs. Now. Why not just get external reservoirs? Well, this eliminates the potential problems of smashing them or hitting them on things. Um, on top of that, not everybody needs that. These are at a cheaper price point. This is far better than a lift or anything uh, that would be like a spacer lift. Um, Top-notch damper, awesome components throughout. Uh, now, if you are kind of crawling through the woods or you're just daily driving, even you might not need the benefits of an external reservoir. Really what that does is it adds fluid capacity and heat dissipation. Um, if you're running through the desert, you know, like you see the promotional videos for the new Raptor running through the desert 100 miles an hour, jumping stuff, that's when you start to overheat the fluid. It's kind of like overheating the brake fluid on a track car. You want more fluid, get the heat out of it. So it works better. It doesn't need to meet a boiling point or anything like that. So if you just want a nice ride, uh, improvement, adjustable setup, um, this is a great option and is a good bit cheaper than both of these guys. Now, and also no reservoirs to set up in and out just like a stock style strut. Now on the other end of things, uh, even above this setup, which is still my favorite, you have the top-notch setup from Icon, which is the C-Dev. Now, this is a control module for C-Dev. Now, what it is, is basically a fully adjustable setup, but it's electronic, similar to like the live valve that Fox uses, um, and an OEM application for the Raptor. Um, this is an aftermarket setup. They're coming out with more applications all the time. The Bronco is available in stock. You can ship it to you right now. Basically, you run this control module uh, to a harness to each uh, strut and an app on your phone. So it'll go to your default settings and that's what's stored on here. You open up an app on your phone, you can change all the settings right from your driver's seat actively while you're driving. Uh, a lot more adjustment than a factory style setup like in a new Gen 3 Raptor or a Raptor. Um, 
super nice setup, a lot of uh, technology, they've put a lot of time and effort into it. The electronics, a lot of times you'll get a, a company that makes hard parts like this and they'll come out with some form of electronic doodad and it'll feel like a cheap piece of junk because uh, they don't make electronics. Uh, not the case at all with Icon, this is a, a top-notch product, um, it's got all weather pack connectors, um, it's a very nicely molded case, I mean it's a really nice unit, you really get what you're paying for, it's not just something that they threw together and rushed to market. Um, personally I haven't had the experience of using this on a uh, new Bronco, I'd really like to. Um, like I said, they are here ready to ship, uh, if anybody local wants to snag them we will do an install for free until i say otherwise so if you're watching this video and you're in new england let me know um so that's kind of a broad overview of icon's offerings they also make their control arms the new 90 degree delta joint uh, upper control arms in both billet and tubular um all that stuff is available not really what we're talking about in this video um so that just kind of gives you an idea of your options um, and feel free to reach out to me or any of our team to get some on the way to you. So thanks for watching. This is John from Juggernaut Performance. Vlog out.